Hello ESC Bubble, we are at La Sala Riviera and we are joined by Baby Lasagna who's going to be representing Croatia at Eurovision this year with the barnstorming Rim Tim Taki Dim. Uh, Baby Lasagna, your journey here has been turbulent to say the least. Like, do you just want to take us through how you got to this point? Well, uh, as I was saying before, microphone cut out. <laughs> We're all professionals. Uh, when you when you set on uh, job applications, like hundreds of them, you you don't hope really to get uh, an answer from every single one of them. It was same for me with Dora. Yeah. So when I uh, sent out my application, I didn't expect to get an answer, and I didn't expect to get in reserves, mm. then actually get on the list, mm. and then actually win, and here I am. But it's just like structure of what happened. <laughs> Like so many things. Well, I mean, we're all very happy it worked out in the end because we absolutely love your song. I mean, like the story in the song is very profound. Is that a personal story? Like, where, where did the inspiration for the song come from? Well, I'm what some other people might call like highly sensitive person, so it didn't happen to me, but it happened to a few of my friends and I saw them living through that story and I wanted to write a song about it. Lovely, yeah. Um, so, um, am I right in saying you've actually done Dora before, but not as a performer? Like, what was the transition like to actually singing live for the first yeah, time? Yeah, I was a guitar player for other bands in yeah. 2019, I think. And like yeah, an age ago. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this was my first time ever as a singer on a stage, and it was on a national television in Croatia, and yeah, and this happened, so it was pretty scary. Yeah. And, well, I mean, it certainly didn't come across. You've absolutely smashed it. And, um, like, looking ahead to Eurovision, like, I mean, the, the outfit, like, the, the LED, like, the concepts we saw in Dora, like, are we going to see a lot of that in, in Malmö? Like, yeah, I think we will, uh, in a sense that you will see the same things happening, but uh, time stand. You know what I mean? Everything nice. is going to be more fire, more smoke, yeah. more animals, like, everything more is going to be the same to time stand. <laughs> yeah, I, so, yeah, I'm really excited to. I, I, I did actually want to ask because um, I saw a thing on Twitter the other day where like fans were going through like what they wanted, like the fan groups of different artists to be called. And one name that was floated for the Baby Lasagna fan club was the Meow Cats. Yeah. Which, like, <laughs> are we on board with that? Like, yeah, sure. Sounds fun. Yeah. Yeah. It's a picture. Yeah. Well, I'm definitely joining up. <laughs> um, just conscious of time. So uh, just before we go, uh, going to have a bit of a bonus question. Uh, can you pick a number between one and thirty. Okay, should I say it out loud? Yeah, go yeah, for it. 17. 17. Uh, right. What would be the title of the book of your life? Oh. <laughs> All the layers of lasagna. All the layers of lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> These are the scoops we get at ESC Bubble. I love that. Thank you so much Thank for coming so to us. Thanks. <laughs>